Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Review Channel. Yes, Apple Watch Series 7 EKG, blood oxygen, and heart rate. Yes, we're going to go over this real quickly. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. This is a cool video. I love this watch. Let's get to it. Let's go. Hey gang, welcome to another episode of your Review Channel. So today we're talking about the Apple Watch Series 7. So if you don't have the Apple Watch Series 7, I definitely recommend getting it. It has a lot of cool new features that I really like. Two big features that I really want to talk about is um, the oxygen sensor and the EKG. Uh, so there's two different really awesome, awesome features that you really should know about. And how to activate them, they're pretty, pretty simple. So you have, I have them set up here on my dial uh, for quick access. So you have the heart here, so you can see the heart. And this is the oxygen, but if you, oxygen, um, to read the oxygen level in your bloodstream. But if you want to access them from the app itself, you just click on the crown. I had mine set up so it does this, um, display like this here. Or you can do the other, uh, the old fashioned way, the little icons that, Kind of difficult to move all around. I find this a lot easier. So you can find all this in your here. You can hit the heart right here. You can do that. Uh, EKGs in here as well. You can do that. But I actually elected to put them on the actual app themselves. So let's do a quick test um, so I can just show you how they work. So the access them to two different things. Uh, to access the watch, do your oxygen. You just basically tap on the oxygen section here. Make sure your wrist is straight and flat. Don't touch it and just hit start. Okay, and it does a 15 second countdown and actually reads your blood oxygen level in your system, which is fantastic. I mean, think about that technology. I mean, you have to go to a doctor before, it's just crazy. Now you can actually get your, you read your oxygen level and your watch, and that's nuts. 99%, that's great. So you can't go, you can't get much better than that. I mean, you can get to 100, of course. Uh, so blood oxygen, that's super, super important, um, especially if you have some health issues. Um, another really big thing is, is the actual, uh, the EKG. So the EKG is really kind of cool. The heart rate's really cool. So let's just do the heart rate. So do the heart rate. We just check, check on the heart. Just test up, just tap on that. And then it actually will read the actual, your, your pulse, um, and your heart rate. So that gives you a reading. Uh, so you know how, if you have any issues, you can just you can get an, how it's racing. You can get an idea. So 78, that's pretty normal. So that's perfect. That's easy. Uh, so let's go do the EKG. The EKG thing is just amazing. It blows my mind. Now, when you first set it up, it does tell you, uh, don't rely on the watch for heart attacks. Um, you're signing up. You're kind of agreeing to like not hold them responsible. Um, if you're having a heart attack, I think you probably know it, and you probably should call nine one one anyway. That's the first thing you should do. Forget the watch. Call nine one one. But this is really more for um, AFib. Um, so if you um, have AFib issues, or if you're not sure you do, this will tell you if you have AFib. It'll let you know. It'll notify you, which is crazy. Uh, so that's another really cool feature. So let's just go to um, EKG. And I'll just show you how that works. So let's find that. So click on EKG. Okay. So what that's going to do is basically you just put your finger on the crown. You don't have to press hard. You keep it there for twenty seconds. Now normally you really shouldn't be talking. You should just let that rest some slow deep breaths, slow deep breaths, and just let it read. So it reads your finger. It is amazing how this can give you somewhat of an accurate um, outlook on your EKG. I was at my uh, doctor yesterday and I showed him this feature and he was actually blown away that it actually was able to do this without actually putting like multiple leads all over your body. If you ever had, if you ever had an EKG, it tells you. It is crazy. So here is the EKG. does not show any signs of fibrillation or arterial fibrillation which is called AFib um, so that's really the idea behind that is really to pick up the AFib um, but that's how you do the EKG so I just want to give you that there's a, a lot of a ton of other features on here accessibility features all kinds of cool stuff so if you I'm gonna be doing some more videos so if you want to see more videos let me know click on the on the like share and subscribe button subscribe to this video leave a comment down below more videos on the watch or just more watch videos or whatever you want to say just say i'd like to see more options or more features of this watch because there is a ton just too much to put in it will be, be an hour long video and then one more thing i want to tell you that's super important that i just found out the hard way so it does come with a fast charger which basically is kind of cool and you can tell this fast charger from the regular charger <clears throat> so here's the regular charger it has the plastic back okay regular for the regular watch uh, and here's the fast charger it has like a metal metal back um, the new one is USB-C, and the old one is just the USB. Uh, probably USB, uh, no, regular USB. Um, so this is much faster, um, but I learned the hard way. I said, let me just use this. I can use this to charge my watch. I really didn't care about the fast charge. It was overnight. Didn't worry about it. Unfortunately, it burnt out the um, element in here. I think the watch was just pulling too much power, or I'm not sure what happened, honestly, but it burnt out the element in my original uh, watch. 
um, base um, so it killed this so I recommend using the one that comes with it okay it's USB-C it's designed for the watch there may be some other reasons why if you guys know leave some comments down below let me know um, if this happened to you um, but definitely don't use your old one because I think it just draws too much amperage maybe or too much current I'm not really sure and kind of overheated the element I guess burnt it out but it's dead so that's all I know and I, I, I wasn't sure if it was a power supply I wasn't sure what it was and one more thing it does not come with the um, the charger itself, the, the USB charger, you have to have your own USB actual charger itself to plug into this as well. So that is another, eh, what are you going to do? You have to, So I have to go buy one because I usually I have all the USB chargers, but I don't have a lot of USB-C chargers. So eh, let's go out and buy some more USB chargers. This is the way it works with Apple. But love the watch. Love the new face. This is the 45 millimeter, just so you know. Um, and I had the old watch was a 44. And another side note, all my old bands fit. So if you have a 42 millimeter band, uh, watch don't throw them away because they fit on the 45 now that's a really cool tip i was just gonna i was ready to get rid of them throw them away sell them my wife go see if they fit i put them on and bingo it fit so cool 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 love that so bigger face bigger watch but same watch band great feature all right guys that's it for me don't forget to like share subscribe if you enjoyed this video on on the apple watch series 7 leave some comments down below i appreciate that hit that notification bell you'll be notified when the next video is ready and i'll see you at the next review